up in Cincinnati. It is our last day of our trip. We are leaving today, but first we are going to Kings Island. This is day nine of our road trip, so it's been a really long, fun road trip, and we've done so much stuff, and last stop before we get heading back. And today for Kings Island, for our tickets too, we did get the, they're the day tickets. It's like a, a fun day bundle ticket where you get admission, parking, and then all day dining. So we both will be able to get meals every 90 minutes if we want. And then I also got one of the souvenir refill cups so we'll be able to fill. And then I got fast lane for myself because there's a lot of roller coasters that are the bigger ones that typically have longer waits that I want to try to go on. So just to make it faster so Jamie doesn't have to wait while I go on those, I'm hoping to be able to just pop right in and off the rides with the fast lane so we can do a ton of stuff together too and be able to find rides and get food and drinks and just see everything that Kings Island has to offer. And we're, we're almost here. Kings Island is the next ride, so we should start seeing it any minute. Their water park does look good too. It's closed right now because school is back in session, but oh, I see Orion. That's the really tall blue one. And there's the entry sign. It looks like we found the parking. Oh, and the Great Wolf Lodge is right by it. That would probably be a nice place to stay if you were coming here. We made it in, look. This is really beautiful. Wow, I'm pretty blown away. I've seen it in pictures and videos, but the landscaping and everything and layout is fantastic. You can already see a bunch of the coasters. I'm so excited. We are here. You can see the Eiffel Tower. There it is. And we're gonna do that later. We're both gonna go up the Eiffel Tower. That should be fun for us to do together. So I'm really excited. We're gonna get our fast lane passes and check in and maybe get our drink cup and then see what we get up to. They actually have a Build-A-Bear in Kings Island right by the entrance, so we're quick checking it out. Oh, look at it. Oh, that one is adorable. <laughs> It is so soft. I like its little jacket too. That's so cute. So I just scanned and got my drink cups. You can see here it's for all of the Cedar Fair parks. It's a cool cup and free refills all day every 15 minutes, which it's kind of like a weird time limit, but I don't think I'll be drinking a drink more than every 15 minutes. So we're just sitting here getting ready for the day. And since we're only here one day, these bundle tickets were really a steal. They were $65 a person, and that includes park entry, parking, and all day dining. Like that's cheaper than most theme park tickets, even just for general admission. And we get meals every 90 minutes, and then I added on the souvenir cup for only like $18. So overall, really not too bad. The fast lane was a little more, it was like $80 for the day, but that should be able to, if we're only here for one day, so. I'd like to be able to get on some of the rides and not have to worry about wait times, but it shouldn't be too busy either way. A lot of schools started back this week, so I'm hoping crowds won't be too bad, but we'll see. Okay, I got the fast lane pass, and we're just checking out this. It's like their guide for the dining plan because we do have the all-day dining today, so everything here is what's included. There's a lot of options. Look at all of that. Pizza, Panda Express, Potato Works, The Brew House, Chicken Shack, so much other stuff. And here's a map too that kind of shows where all of them are. So that's cool to see. Okay, so I'm all, all ready for the day. I got the all day dining plan band, the fast lane band, and then I just activated my first meal. So then every 90 minutes I can get more if I want. I am kind of hungry and this pizza right here looked good. Yeah, the pizza's from La Rosa's right on the International Street, which is included in the dining. And it's kind of right here. Just right next to the fountain in the entrance. And there is the Eiffel Tower. And they do have a Starbucks location here on the International Street too, so I stopped in to get Jamie a chai latte. And it's actually a really nice Starbucks. Look how big it is. Tons of seating for if it's a busy day. You can see the fountains out there. Jamie is having to do her Zoom class, so she's actually doing it just from inside of Kings Island because there's really nice seating by the fountains and she just kind of has to watch anyway. So making the most of the day, enjoying the beautiful scenery of this park. It's gorgeous so far. And I think I might take use of my fast lane and Jamie doesn't ride the coasters anyway. So while she's in her class, I'm gonna go knock out a couple. I think I'm gonna head to Diamondback since it's right up here by the front. That tower is so cool though. We're gonna have to go up that later. This park is 
way, way a notch up from Six Flags landscaping, maintenance, and theming. I wouldn't put it quite on the level of Dollywood yet, because Dollywood is more like small and cozy feeling, but this is gorgeous. The park's got a really nice layout too, kind of with that central main street hub of the International Street. I don't know exactly how to get to Diamondback, so I'm gonna figure it out. But I see it. It's behind that tree. So I was wondering what the quickest way to Diamondback was, and I asked a park employee, and she showed me that on the app you can click or type in the name of an attraction, and then there's a little mapping button that shows you where you're walking and where to go, because it's leading me to Diamondback, so I think that's going to be my first of the day. And so to get there, I have to walk through Planet Snoopy. This is the quickest way. This looks really cool, though. Planet Snoopy looks cute. There's a lot of rides in here Jamie would do, too. Ooh, there it is. The line doesn't look, look long anyway, but I'm going in the fast lane. I'm really excited for Diamondback. I love Raging Bull at our Six Flags. It's been like my favorite coaster since I was a kid, and Diamondback is a very similar B&M hyper. So it looks like the park is pretty empty already anyway. Don't think I really would have even had to worry about the fast lane, but it's nice to have just in case it does get busy. But ooh, Diamondback, it's got a splash down too. Here it comes, I wanna get the splash down. That was beautiful. So many cool coaster model kits here too. They're like the Coaster Dynamics Nano Coasters for all the rides in the park that you can build. And this is the gift shop right outside of Diamondback. Ooh, they have merchant pins too. I'm gonna have to get a pin while we're here. Don't know which one I want. Maybe we'll see which ride ends up being my favorite. And then I'll grab a pin for that one or maybe a pin set, I love that. Wow, this is so cool. They have so many pins here. And also, oh, Diamondback was amazing. <laughs> I just got off Diamondback and it was amazing. <laughs> Forgot to even mention it, but yeah, no, amazing. I wanna ride it again today. Walked on, so. Looking at the app, it looks like I'm close to Mystic Timbers, so I might as well just go ride that. And there goes Diamondback. Oh, I see Mystic Timbers. This is gonna be amazing. Let's do it. This looks amazing. I love the theming here. Wow, I'm excited. And it doesn't look like there's much of a normal queue anyway. Fast lane probably wasn't super worth the money today, but it was cheaper than other days I checked, and like it is price by day, so there were some days where it was up to like 150 for fast lane, and I paid 80 for the day, so I mean it just it's nice to ensure that I can get right on. This is crazy. Literally walked up, no way, this is incredible. Mystic Timbers was fun. Not the best wooden I've ridden lately, but it was pretty fast and whippy, and it was just really cool going through the trees and the shed, and some of the theming elements were awesome. I like the little tree that pops out at the end in the shed and the music. It's a nice little touch. But yeah, gotta say Thunderhead at Dollywood was a better wooden, but Mystic Timbers was cool. I liked it a lot. That Snoopy does have a little coaster too, and some other fun kitty rides that we would actually probably do later. And just announced next year too, there is a new Snoopy's Soapbox Racers coming to this area. It's going to be like a family boomerang. Oh, and I think they have blue ice cream here. I remember that. We're gonna have to get some. Coaster I think Jamie could ride. <laughs> And here's Tom and Chi. I've always wanted to try that. I know it's grilled cheese. I think they were on like Shark Tank. Uh, oh wow, a grilled chi donut. I would probably just get a normal one, but bacon mac and chi looks amazing. The park really is just not busy today at all, as you could probably kind of see from the lines on the rides that I've gone on so far, but it's just been a great day here at Kings Island. There is where you get the fast lanes. Here's their guest center. This is to the left of when you walk in from the Eiffel Tower. And I think I'm gonna go head over. I might try like Invertigo in the bat. They're over on this side. I checked back in with Jamie, and now I'm just gonna see what else I can do because she's still in her Zoom class. <laughs> it looks like Banshee is running, so maybe I'll do Banshee, not sure. I don't, I typically don't, I don't love like hanging coasters like that, suspended ones. Uh, we have the original, the OG Batman at our Six Flags Great America, and I'm just like never crazy about it. I don't know, but I'd probably give Banshee a shot just for the credit, if nothing else, since I did hear it was closed too, and it looks like it is totally running just fine. So kind of excited for that. I mean, it looks pretty cool. 
but I think I might do Invertigo in the bat first. We'll see. We do have a giant drop tower too, which literally is not even going because there's no one in line for it. I saw it running earlier. It looks like it just, the park is really empty today. And right across from there too is a chicken shack, which is included in the meal plan and looked really good. And Invertigo is just a boomerang, and honestly, they're not my favorite either, but I'm gonna do it. And here we go. I don't even think this one has fast lane, but looks like there's like no weight anyway. I didn't see a fast lane, but whatever. It's kind of cool how the queue goes right under the coaster. See, that's just kind of cool. It goes under it. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm ready for the boomerang. <laughs> An inverted boomerang too. A suspended boomerang. Oof, here we go. And another walk on. Here we go. Really interesting how there are forward and backward seats here so you can get a different ride experience. too bad. I actually kind of liked Invertigo. It's pretty cool. The, the loop going backwards and the inversion feel really cool. Super quick ride though. Back in this area you've kind of just got like Invertigo, the Bat, and Banshee all stuck together so I might just knock them all out. I might hit the Bat next. I know it's a super unique coaster. And it's the Bat. Let's do it. Almost like wasn't even sure if the ride was open or any of these are today. It's so empty. It's weird. Definitely did not need the fast lane, but either way, whatever. I'm excited for the bat. The bat. Wow, the queue line to the bat is a very long walk too. It's way out here, but I'm really excited for this one. It actually used to be Top Gun themed too, which would have been cool to ride, but I'm, I'm excited still as the bat. This queue is insane. What is going on? I almost got lost like five times. I think I'm going the right way. I guess we'll know if I can get on the coaster. Just look at the bat flying. It looks so cool. Might as well take the front if I can. Look at this. This is insane. The bat was cool. Uh, definitely probably not ranking in my top for today or top coasters at all. Very unique that it's hanging and swings and you do have some cool moments where you get really close to like some of the poles and can kind of feel it whipping but eh, I don't know it's just like it's not the most thrilling it's not the most cool course layout it's not the coolest track and for some reason too like the forces feel really weird it's just kind of hard to describe it just it didn't stand out as a favorite but it is unique for sure and I do like the swinging cars I do have one of those, like, it's called the Extreme Sky Flyer here. It's one of those dive things, but it looks like it's not running right now, or maybe it's just, you just have to buy tickets for it. It's only 10 bucks, wow. Right, this is right here, and I'm gonna head back to Jamie in a couple minutes, so I guess I'll hit Banshee. <laughs> Gotta do it for the credit, right? Maybe it'll surprise me. Delirium looks crazy. I don't really have a, an interest in going on that. Do it, but I'd rather do coasters and other things. And Banshee does have fast lanes, so I should be cruising right on it. And I do like that they still do ride photos here, so from Banshee you can get your ride photos and just a lot of other fun things. And okay, so Banshee was pretty good. I'm glad I went on it. I'm glad I, for sure, I was gonna get the credit, but I actually ended up liking it quite a bit. I hate to say it, but I may have preferred it to Batman at our Six Flags Great America, which is like the original, like the Batman, which spawned multiple other clones after it, because it was such a good ride, but I don't know. I really liked Banshee. It was cool. It felt more like swooping and flying than Batman does. Batman is more just like pure speed inversions and like whiplash. This is just a really nice park. Like I know I keep saying it, but it feels very well put together. It's just well maintained. I like the layout. The rides so far are great. Everything. 
I have no idea what's going on up here, but I see like a hundred people all in the same shirt that have a number 10 on it. I don't know if it's like an event or what's happening. Looks like there might be some show happening in the theater over here. Not too sure. This is where they would normally do that phantom theater, which I have seen videos of. I've watched some other Kings Island vlogs. I would really love to see that, but no shows today. I think it's done running for the year. It's for an all-star game of some sort. Interesting. Wow, look at all these jerseys. This is insane. It really is just so beautiful here. Look at the fountains. I love the fountain show. And Jamie's class finally finished. So we've met back up, we're together, and we're gonna finally go do some things together now. We have a lot of good food and dining options here. They do have the bacon on a stick here, but this location is closed today. So we're hoping they have it at the Coney Barbecue one that it says on the sign there, but also just like Auntie Anne's, they have a Cinnabon, there's the Build-A-Bear that we mentioned earlier. And now me and Jamie are finally gonna go check out more of the park together. Maybe we should just go do the Eiffel Tower because it's right there and that way we can kind of get like a view of the whole park. That'd be really cool. And the Eiffel Tower is the first line of the day. But I think it's just because they have only two elevators and you have to go up and down so hopefully it won't take too long. It says they aim for excellence and efficiency, excellence in performance, excellence in guest services, and excellence in cleanliness. So far I'd say I've seen that show up in pretty much everything. Ride operations have been extremely efficient and it's been great. Feet tall, which makes it roughly one third 314 feet tall, one third of the one in Paris. While we are reaching our 265 foot platform, there are a few rules. There is no eating, drinking, running, or smoking, and that is vaping on the platform. It is also against Ohio State. I see Orion in the distance. It's really gonna be busy. So I see the racer. Oh, I see backlot stunt coaster. <laughs> This really is a cool part. We just walked out. This is really cool. You can see the whole park. That's the whole Snoopy area with all the kids' stuff. And there's a lot of rides we could go on there together, too. I see Mystic Timbers out there, Diamond Back. I've done Diamond Back and Mystic Timbers so far. Diamondback is awesome. Let's get the Diamondback splash down from here. Oh, it's the beast. shows or anything really running today or entertainment. It seems like they kind of ended all that as people are back to school and the summer season is mainly done. We're more here for the rides and just to have a good day anyway. Eventually maybe if we came back here we could do more shows and stuff but it looks like, you know, rides are the focus today and it's nice that it's so empty and no lines, really. Passing the blue ice cream stand again, we're definitely gonna have to get some before we leave today. We stopped over, there's a cocktail, frozen cocktail stand right by Diamondback and Jamie got a frozen mango margarita with tequila and we did get it in the souvenir cup because she said you get a little bit extra, it's only a dollar more and I, I always like souvenir cups, I'm a sucker for them. How is it? Good. Good? Strong? No. Oh. It has like a weird bubbly taste to it. Interesting. There's a fun little log ride in Planet Snoopy too. And Jamie and I will probably do that later. We like those little flying ones. It's just really fun back here. They really do have a good kids section here. There's a lot for kids and families. It's really cool. 
That's one thing our Six Flags is greatly lacking. So it's about 1.30 right now. We stopped at Tom and Chi because Jamie just activated her all day dining too. And mine was, I was able to get another at like 12.30, but waited a little bit. So I wanted to get another and make the best use of it. So we'll be able to get another now around like 3 or 3.30. And Tom and Chi just looked amazing. Check that out. Coaster-wise, I still have to do Adventure Express, The Racer, Backlot Stunt, Flight of Fear, Orion, and The Beast. I think that'll cover all of them. I think so. I think I've got like five coasters left, but I think there's two of them that Jamie will do too. Probably Backlot Stunt and Adventure Express. So we'll try those. And we just got Tom and Chi. It was really good. The Tom and Chi was good. It was nice grilled cheese. And I think we're gonna go to the Boo Blasters because that's like a family ride where you shoot things and me and Jamie can both do it. We're gonna do the Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. We we're in the queue, and it did say this one had a 15 minute wait, but that's not bad at all. I'll do that. We're getting close. It has only been about 10 minutes. It'll probably be 15 by the time we get on. I know it's like a shooting ride, but I'm kind of getting some like Haunted Mansion vibes, so maybe it'll be like a Haunted Mansion with little shooting guns. We just got off Boo Blasters, and I mean, it was a really fun, slow-moving dark ride with some interactive elements. We both did really good, actually. It stopped a few times, so we were able to kind of rack up some points on targets, but at the end, I scored almost 3,000 points, over 3,000 on the Boo Blasters. Jamie was close to 2,500, and anything over like 1,500 on their scoreboard, they said was a Master Blaster. So me and Jamie are both officially Master Blasters of the Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. That Master Blasters of the Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. <laughs> I don't think I could say it even once more. I'm already getting tongue twisted. It's kind of nice. They do have little interesting stores too, like a little glass shop and funnel cakes over here. And we're just going to go walking around to some other parts of the park we haven't seen yet. Well, I see over there there's something called the Tower Gardens, which look beautiful. We'll probably just do like a big loop though and explore and kind of check out the whole park. I think that is called Soul Spin here, and it actually looks really fun. We came into Enrique's to check it out, and it looks really good. It's a Mexican option, kind of over by Banshee and the Racer in Soul Spin. Behind Enrique's, too, we found that there's a bar called Mercado, or I don't know if that's just what it says on top, but they make mixed drinks and specialty cocktails here. This looks good. We got a passion fruit Paloma from this bar behind Enrique's. How is it? Very good. Yeah, it is good. And this one's actually like, so the one she had earlier was pre-mixed frozen, and this one is actually like a mixed cocktail too, so it should be like a little stronger maybe, hopefully. Jamie was walking and she looked up at Banshee and she said, I want to go on that one, and I said, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone is actually doing the extreme fly right now, look. They're going to come back. Crazy. We're gonna see what they have at Fest House. This looks like German. Oh, it's huge in here. This is crazy. Wow, this is huge. <laughs> crazy dining location here. Oh, and it looks like they do shows in here too sometimes. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so it's actually kind of like a food court. Like we've got a Panda Express in here, we've got a bar over there with some drinks and beer, and something else over there. I can't see what it is from here. Okay, so this one over here is the Fest House. I think. It doesn't quite look like German food. It says it's featuring La Rosa's family pizza. Oh, so it looks like it's just pizza again. So you got cheeseburger basket, pizza, chicken tender basket. They just have a lot. This looks like a traditional like Disney or theme park food court. Pizza, burgers, chicken. A lot of good stuff. They have a bacon cheeseburger basket too. It sounds good. Yeah, this place is huge. Check it out. And that's the Panda Express across there now some other nice flat rides in this area too. They got the Cargo Loco, which is kind of like a teacup ride. Oh, Banshee just stopped on the lift hill. That sucks. Wonder what's happening. why I don't go on those rides. I would like to be stuck there. Just kidding. I wouldn't. I like when the ride is going nicely. It does. I think that's the Mexican. We're coming back up by Enriquez. And we are coming up to Adventure Express, and I think Jamie is going to do this one. It doesn't look scary, and it's like a five minute wait, so it should be fun. Already hearing some of the audio leading up to it. 
This one has like a, a cool story too. We're going out like adventuring to find like a cave or a temple or something. This should be good. The Adventure Express. We're gonna go on the scenic jungle route to see the wondrous Amazon Falls. And again, it looks like there's no line. Everything is kind of just like a walk on. The longest we waited so far was for the Eiffel Tower and the Boo Blasters. Yeah, check that out, just crazy, nothing. And we're off the Adventure Express. What did you think? It was fine. There were a couple like sharp turns and it did get a little rattly, but oh yeah, I do see Coney Barbecue. We're gonna check that out too. We're just looking at all our food options. There's a lot here, but yeah, no, pretty fun ride. Not my favorite at the park for sure. Not very thrilling, but has some cool dark red elements and theming. There's a giant I love bacon plush. That is so funny. Already, Coney Barbecue is looking good. They have chicken tenders, chicken, pulled pork, mac and cheese, fries, baked beans. Oh, and it looks really nice in here. It's kind of like that, that style where you walk through a line and they scoop out your barbecue food, like at a barbecue restaurant. I love these types of places. This is kind of like, it seems like almost like a carnival fair area. They've got a lot of the carnival flat rides, a lot of games and stuff. Got a scrambler here, bumper cars up ahead. Ooh, and Skyline Chili. I've always kind of wanted to try that. There goes the racer. And Jamie saw the swings and I said swings and she said, yeah, let's do the swings. So we're gonna go on the swings. It looks like here their swings are called Zephyr. And same deal, no lines for pretty much anything. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, so now after the swings, we've made our way back to the area 72 maybe section, but this is where Flight of Fear and Orion are and I'm getting a little terrified, but I've got to do Orion. It'll be my first giga coaster I've done several over 200 feet and some others, but I'm just I'm really excited I'm nervous and excited all at the same time Look at it And then I do want to do flight of fear too. So I just did both Orion and flight of fear Orion was awesome. I really loved it. It was kind of like Diamondback, just a little, the, the after drop was not as crazy as Diamondback, but the drop itself and Orion is just so smooth being a new one. And then Flight of Fear was, it was fun. It was kind of like a, a rock and roller coaster to me, just not as good theming. Uh, probably prefer rock and roller coaster or something still. Stop now at the Coney Barbecue over here, kind of by, it's by the Scrambler and just kind of in this like little fair area. And we both got barbecue platters. We actually got the exact same thing. We did the pulled pork, a hush puppy and some mac and cheese with our meal plan because it is like 3.30 now. It's it's 3.45 so we were able to get another meal at 3.30 and then we're gonna go keep walking around and looking around. And we're kind of finishing up our barbecue now. Just getting close to the end and it was pretty good. So now we're gonna go find another ride or just keep walking around. The landscaping here really is just beautiful. Like they have little seating areas and plants and everything is really well cupped up. And we're kind of towards the back of the park now, and we're going to do the antique autos. It should be really fun. And back here too, there's Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Up there is Wind Seeker. And then you've also got the Jukebox Diner there with a cool shot of Diamondback in the back. We're about to get in the cars, and Jamie's going to be the driver. Jamie's driving us. Here she goes. She's driving. She's driving. And be careful to not bump. It's actually kind of fun. Ooh, we got some theming. It looks like, oh, it is flow from Progressive. Oh, <laughs> you're driving us crazy here. Interesting that they have a Progressive ad on this ride. wild animal habitat. Look, I wonder if we're going to see some tigers and giraffes. This is really pretty though. Where are the wild animals? Wow, 
I've been driving this whole road trip, so it's nice to have Jamie drive me for once. <laughs> Going a little crazy. Just gotta make it safely to the end without hitting these people and bumping them. Just a nice little chill fun ride. The jukebox diner back here does look cool too. Don't think we're gonna stop there. We've had a lot of diners lately and we just had that barbecue food, but we're gonna keep walking around. I do still wanna get the blue ice cream before we leave. Here's one that I'm really excited for. We're coming up to Backlot Stunt Coaster and I've been, I saw this ride a while ago and I thought it looked really cool. It's not like the most intense or crazy coaster, but it's got some cool sections and it looks really fun. And I think Jamie can go on it. It's got no inversions, it's not too fast, just a little launch, so we're gonna try it. This coaster looks so cool and there are actually a few of them. I think one opened in like 2005 here and then also at Canada's Wonderland. Themed too, they're based off the Italian job, like the movie, like the ending and the stunt scene. And another one opened two years later, I want to say, I, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but the first ones were here at Kings Island and then at Canada's Wonderland and it looks really cool. It's a really unique ride. I thought Backlot Stunt Coaster was pretty fun. It's not the most thrilling or crazy but it's pretty unique and I like the theming and stuff and how it's based on those. Jamie what did you think? I don't know what that means but it's my face the whole time. <laughs> um, how would it compare to others you've ridden this week like Big Bear and Adventure Express? Right. So how is this one compared to the Big Bear? Better. Okay so she liked it better than Big Bear Mountain. I love Diamondback Splashdown. We just stopped back at the Miami River Brew House, kind of by Diamondback, and Jamie got herself a tequila sunrise, and she said it's really good. They made it, they made it strong at the brew house for sure. I think we're gonna go ride those little helicopters up there. It's just kind of like a slow-moving ride. The kids area here really is great. They have a ton, and it's really well themed and done. We're gonna go on the Woodstock Whirly Birds. This almost looks like it's kind of like the um, I can't remember what the Dr. Seuss one is called at Universal, but also kind of almost like a little like people mover. Like it's just a slow moving thing that goes a little bit around the land and looks kind of pleasant and nice. Yeah, better look at the kids area. There really is just so much to do here and it's really expansive. And a new coaster coming here for kids, a family boomerang in 2024. Snoopy's Soapbox Racers. Here we go, pretty much no wait either for the whirly birds. This is gonna be fun. We are in our Woodstock Whirly Bird and Jamie's getting her calf workout in. So it actually has like pedals that you can do. <laughs> Which is really funny. I don't know if the pedals do anything, but it makes you feel like you're doing something and you can get a little workout. So it's kind of fun. We're just cruising. Oh, and we get some Peanuts music. I see stinky feet. I rode Diamondback one more time because it was one of my favorites. The Beast is actually down. I'm really sad I didn't get on the Beast today, but we stopped here to grab some tenders and tots with the last of our meal. I have to do it. I have to get a blue ice cream. The blue ice cream was pretty good, and with that, we are saying goodbye to Kings Island. And we are back in the car now. You can see the Eiffel Tower behind Jamie and a couple of the coasters as we say goodbye to Kings Island. It was a fun day. Did you have fun? Yeah, the only thing I wasn't able to get on really was the Beast, which was one of the ones I did want to go on, but that just means we have a reason to come back sometime, and we do have some friends that said they would probably meet us here sometime too, so that would be fun to plan for next time. So after Kings Island, we were really tired and we kind of ended up just leaving the park and we drove all the way back to Chicago. It was like a four hour drive. It was like a four hour drive from Mason, kind of like Cincinnati, Ohio, back to Chicago. So we ended up getting back at like, on the way back from Ohio to Chicago though, you do gain an hour because you're going from the Eastern time zone to Central time zone. So we left Kings Island at like 6.30 or seven and then we ended up getting back to Chicago at like nine or 9.30. So it really wasn't too bad. The drive was pretty quick and 
we had a great time at Kings Island. A couple things too, I just wanted to say their ticket prices were great. Getting that fun day bundle ticket with the parking, the all day dining and admission for like 70 bucks the day that we went, that was amazing. And you really can't beat that at any theme park. They have great prices on season passes too. And since going and now filming this, there has been like the big merger between the Cedar Fair Parks and Six Flags. So who knows what that'll mean for next year in the coming years. We often go to our Six Flags Great America here. We've gone to Kings Island. We want to go to more other parks too. So we'll see what that looks like in the future. But it was a really fun time. We had a great time. I rode a few new coasters that I really loved. I really loved Orion, Diamondback, Mystic Timbers. They were all great though. There were a couple that I didn't get on. I didn't ride the Beast, which was kind of a regret just because it closed down for a while and then didn't reopen until we were like leaving. So a little bit unfortunate. I didn't ride the Racer, which I would have liked to get on, but it wasn't like, you know, a top coaster for me to ride that day. And then also like the kitty coasters, like the, the Great Pumpkin Coaster and a couple of the others, but we'll be back someday. We also do want to go to like, you know, a couple other places. So I don't know when we'll be back to Kings Island, but. Yeah, we're definitely going to stay in the same hotel room again. Yeah, if we go back though, that would definitely be the thing. We would probably stay in a different hotel for sure, not the Comfort in Northeast. It would be fun to go back and stay somewhere different and just go back to Kings Island and hopefully have more time there too, because we, we only had the day Jamie had her Zoom class and it was kind of rushed and they were only open till like seven because of shortened park hours. And we would have liked to check out the water park and other stuff there too. Also, if you have been keeping up with any of our other road trip videos, if you liked this video, getting to see Kings Island, and if you've, you know, been joining us along our road trip, we just wanted to say a big thank you for checking out this video, checking out any of those videos. We hope that you enjoyed our road trip and getting to come with us. And if you enjoyed any of those videos, this video, we would really appreciate it if you gave this video a, a big- A hunk of hunk of burning love. Yeah, a hunk of hunk of burn in love with a, a big thumbs up on the video. That would be awesome. Cause we did, yeah, we started this, this trip in Graceland and ended up in Kings Island. So also, if you haven't seen those videos, I'll go ahead and link our day one traveling to Memphis video here. So you can start from the beginning if you're interested at all and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can catch all of our other videos once they get posted. Who knows what we have planned for next year. Hopefully some fun stuff, probably going back to Disney, doing some other things. So there's all of that to look forward to as well. And just thank you for coming along with us. And as, as always, always, thanks for keeping up in Disney and Memphis and Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and Dollywood and Kings Island and Cincinnati. Yeah. Am I missing something? I don't know. Oh, and Nashville. Oh yeah, we did go to Nashville too. Yeah, well, thanks for keeping up with us in a lot of places. As always, thanks for keeping up in Disney and, and we we'll will see, see you real soon. Real soon. Yep, bye.